Good morning, folks. Today we've got interesting news out about Cascadia in the U.S. Northwest and a story taking the world one step closer to recognizing the full electric extent of our star. Let's begin there over at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on the sun were profoundly subdued given the wealth of surface and coronal features present in the ultraviolet emission. No sunspots, though. Southern coronal hole is large. Northern snake-like feature is that plasma filament which almost destabilized but has indeed survived the trek to face Earth directly today. The coronal hole is causing NASA and NOAA to issue a possible geomagnetic storm warning for this week when its solar wind arrives. We are already magnetically connected to it in the IMF and that should be the case for at least a few days here. Speaking of geomagnetism, things are calm as the solar wind seen here peaked in speed, purple in the middle, never did hit 600 kilometers per second and we never got any geomagnetic disruptions. Next stream is expected between Monday night and Tuesday midday. Let's go to the satellites where tropical storms are popping up in the West Pacific. This one on approach to China last night. Awesome Whistler lines around the circle, which are the Earth Spot Penumbra for you veteran observers. If you need to learn Earth Spots, check the link right below the video. Caught an interesting feature off the coast of Peru and Chile as well. While near surface fog and low clouds slowly shift away from the coastline, there is a fast upper level flow that appears to be going the other way and streaking out into Earth Spot Penumbra itself, this time for a high pressure cell. Awesome to see the high and low vapor going opposite directions in the same vertical column. Up next, what began as remnant lightning from Friday night storms never ceased in the southeast yesterday, pounding power outages across Georgia and the Florida Panhandle until the monsoon exploded in the west. We'll look at these storms as they blasted southward down towards Florida there, but something interesting happens just after that. The lightning completely disappears from that cell while others begin striking around it. Center frame, that blob that disappears over the peninsula, is the same cell that survived the night before. Clouds show the disintegration of the storm beautifully. Quick note on next month's temperature forecast in the United States. Enjoy that early start to fall there in Chicago. Think it'll be windy? On to solar physics. This might be one for the ages. The electric plasma filament. Should have been obvious because plasma is charged subatomic particles, but to see it in major journals is a big move forward. They say the increase of current through the filament increases the height of the filament. And if you are an experienced observer, you know that the lift is present before almost every significant eruption of plasma filaments as they don't just explode. They rise, destabilize, and tear or snap away. Great to see it pegged to electricity. Last, but certainly not least, the Pacific Northwest has been analyzed just like the eastern half of the U.S. was for electric space weather risk, and they managed to do something else in the process. It turns out that even modest space weather can induce powerful geoelectric activity in localized portions of the Northwest, and that these locations are mostly driven by geological and tectonic structures, whereas the issue in L.A., Chicago, or Atlanta would be the density of the grid. It is well known that these fault lines have conductance anomalies and essentially the top geophysicists in this game just said the fault lines like Cascadia and those connected and breaking onto the landmass are going to attract the electromagnetic energy from space weather. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. New Fly on the Wall podcast out yesterday and Billy came ready to fire around the 30 minute mark. Remember the drawing for free shirts and the grand prize of conference tickets must be signed up for on the Deeper Look page by the end of the month. We're drawing it first thing next morning. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.